I think our early game was just not strong enough, right? We whiffed hard in the early game. Oh man, I don't know Chad, it's getting harder and harder for me to sit here and want to like grind Shadowverse. Even the thought of just doing like a day of non-stop to get into YouTube content, it gets harder and harder man. Because like, what I find is that like, as I don't play it, as, as opposed to me sitting there and being like, man I miss it, it's the opposite. It feels like relieving to not have to play it in a way. <laughs> Ultimate carrot art. <laughs> Yeah, we need Rain Noodle to hurry it up, dude. I need the Bazaar. If you like the anime aesthetic and fast game, Shadows might be for you. True, true. Not That's how you've been in the past expansions, yeah. You must die. Okay. Uh, go Unicorn, toss the Sniper, try and pick up another amulet. Go kick in the chat, how's it going, dude? You got those Panda Bucks, sir? <laughs> Just then, the longer I go without playing, the harder it is to jump back. Yeah, right. Like you think it'd be. Thank you for your support. Awesome. Can I get some loose poggers in the chat? Yo, Justin with a tier three. Yo, let's go, Justin. I appreciate that, dude. And we get some loose poggers in the chat for Justin with the tier three twenty-five ones. Yo, thank you so so much, Justin. I really really appreciate that, dude. Thank you for all your support, man. Really really appreciate that. Too much work lately. At least the more you could play Persona or TFT. Uh, yeah, lately we've been playing Persona and TFT. But I'm sort of looking for like a new card game or something like that to really dive into. Sunny days, that's going. Now this you want to play Shadows for the Panda Club? I mean, I might be like that soon enough, you know? If I trade, we can do Major Prayers, which I guess is good enough. The card draw and the Meowsker is both reasonably okay. And then you maybe set up for a better place after, I guess, right? Why no magic? I don't know, I just don't like magic. There's nothing about magic that makes me want to play the game. Like, if I would have gotten into magic, I would have gone into it years ago by now. I feel like I've sort of just missed that. Can I wait a bit for the Selena? I mean, she's okay now. It's not amazing, though. It's only reasonably okay. Might as well just continue getting uh, amulet set up, I think. I think that's just better. I might still get a good Selena later on. But the sniper trades well here. Let's just set up another two drops. I think it's better. Have I tried Hearthstone? Uh, yeah, so I played Hearthstone before I played Chatterverse. I played a lot of Hearthstone, actually. Funny enough, I was one of those people, one of those people that... One of, like, I started playing Hearthstone, and then when I switched to Chatterverse, I could never go back to Hearthstone. Uh, recently I played a bit of Hearthstone Battlegrounds and that was a lot of fun, but I don't really like Blizzard these days, and I don't really want to support their games. Shadows feels like school, it used to be fun at some point, but you'd not catch me dead even near the building now. Kinda like that, but I don't know, like, like I said, I still enjoy casting the game, like, that's still super fun, so it's not like it's all gone. Okay, do I want to Selena here, because I still can, I feel like it's not bad. If I go Selena, push 3 damage, and then we Unicorn. And then, I mean, it's gonna be a Jade Lane party after that. I feel like that's a pretty good way to spend my turn. Decent stats, we send the evils to the face. Shadow Wrestling is dying. I mean, it's still there if you want to play, you know? More life than Rune Bears. True, true. Anything you could improve? Uh, do you mean Shadowverse or Hearthstone? I feel like Shadows has been super dead on Twitch the last year or so. Honestly, it's probably the last two years, I would say, realistically. It's been a long time since Shadows was like booming on Twitch. You guys might not know this, but like when I started streaming Shadows, like the shit was nice and popular. We used to get like 200 viewers, you know? There was like new streamers popping up all the time. Like, I don't know, it was way more hype back in the day. For Shadows, I would think like. What you have to understand is that for me, there's no issue that's like inherently wrong with the game or anything like that. Okay, hold on. Let me think about the correct order of this. I guess it should be Dogma first, right? Okay, then Heavy Fire, then Smite. Like, I don't see, like, it's not like Shadowers has done something wrong. 
power. It's not like the new expansion is poor or anything like that. It's more that I'm just burnt out of the game. And there's really nothing they're gonna do that's gonna make me unburn out at this point. So if you ask me, like, what would I change about the game? What would I make different? Like, I would do something massive. Like, a whole new game mode. Completely new way to play the game. Like a Shadowverse 2, if you will. Because the, the current Shadowverse is just not gonna cut it for me. Who's casting? Given the chat setups for the mod check. I got your back, dude. I still talked about the old days before. Used to get so many more viewers, yeah. It's kind of like Runeterra, gets a lot of viewers. Come back in three years, we'll see Runeterra's numbers then. I mean, Runeterra naturally has a bigger uh, potential fan base because it's like a Riot game. Shadowverse is going to be niche from the first place, but even so, we're way past the Shadowverse peak. I should have foreseen this. The game still seems to be staying steady, just not any hype. Yeah, like what I can tell is that if after, you know, a whole new <laughs> format in rotation, a whole play. new class, an anime, like none of that ever increased the player base, then at this point, nothing is going to change that, right? That's going to change the perception of Shadowverse in the West. We're not going to magically get new players or anything like that. Unless there was something so drastic, like a Shadowverse 2. But I just don't see them doing that. There is the 5th year anniversary for Shadowverse coming out this year. So maybe they announced something crazy. It's possible. But I'm not expecting anything is what I would tell you. Also that dude got bodied and this may still be a YouTuber. I still struggle to search for a new game. Keep coming back to the old games. Yeah, it's hard to find a new game to like really, you know, dive deep into. That's what I find. Like, there's so many like janky ass card games out there. So many like unpolished indie games, early access, this and that. And like, you try these games, they're fun for a day or two, and then nothing. The whole life collab is not gonna do anything, dude. I hate to burst your bubble, it doesn't do anything. It's like anything else. You might see a very, very small influx of new viewers or players. And then it instantly goes back to normal. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Maybe Sagamus is fine with it. I mean, I guarantee you, like, Shadowrest is a, it's a successful game for them. It's not like it's not. It definitely makes them money, and they still have enough of a player base to be good. Especially because, you know, Shadowrest is way bigger in Japan. It's more for us specifically in the West that it thinks are tough.